so we're rolling now. Mm -hmm. It's on. This is your last bit. <laughs> Man, it's like it's like a it's like a wrestling match. It's a war. Smackdown. You That's guys are like, right. I wear white just because of the politics. Man, oh man. All right. So. F1 students, uh, they, they usually are allowed to have 20 hours uh, per week to work, but it's only on, on the campus uh, to which they're uh, uh, going to school. Um, students should be allow, able to hold employment. Uh, it should be extended uh, to uh, farther than what it is now. Uh, this side over here is going to be arguing for that, uh, for, for that position. Yes. Yes. Students should uh, be able to hold employment uh, longer while uh, while they're a student. And this side over here, uh, the, the, these folks are going to be arguing against that point, basically arguing for the status quo. No, the government has a right to uh, set the restrictions that they have put on there. Um, so the way it works down, uh, of course, this side I'm going to give you seven minutes to come up here and make your opening remarks. Uh, and uh, while that's happening, um, of course, no talking to him or arguing with him, right? So uh, it's the same is true when I give seven minutes to these folks over here. While you're listening, of course, consider everybody has an opinion about this. But think about this one. Which side do you think won the debate? Not which side do you agree with, huh? Okay? Yeah, did these folks over here present their evidence in, uh, in the most persuasive fashion? Did they, did they uh, do a better job uh, defending their position? Or did this, these team... Uh, do a better job uh, <laughs> defending their position. Did any arguments cause you to reconsider the, op the opinion of this topic? Any comments, you can write them on the back, and of course I'll make them available for you later on. Okie dokie. So, welcome, uh, welcome to this side. Uh, someone, a representative from the four, uh, arguing four. Uh, it's gonna make, make, go ahead, yeah, go ahead and make your way up here. I'll make sure you're in the camera. Yeah, that's, uh, let's give her a little uh, warm uh, applause. They, they, they have prepared. So hard, and uh, any time you want, go ahead. Yeah. For students, there are a lot of things that we need to cover with money. Most of them are 100% necessary to still a life. For example, the house, the food, the school, the insurance, the transportation that includes the gas which is a very expensive product in the USA, as you all know. And it's true that, we, that there is a rule for students to work. It is called campus employment. But not all the institutes have this opportunity, for example, the LIT. And also, they only allow 20 hours, what is not enough to cover all the necessities that were, that were mentioned. The DSO, the sign school official allows a student to work with a permission only after a year of full academic academic. However, a lot of things could happen during that period of time, which could cause a bankrupt. So as a result, what we want to defend is the opportunity of having more options of working and even more hours recovering all the basic necessities <coughs> of the day to day. Good morning everybody. My name is Azumo. Mm -hmm. I would like to add something. It's true for all Air Force students before to get the the visa, <coughs> they have to show that their parent or sponsor have a lot of money to cover everything when they arrive here. But we need to remember all, few, all those people are human. And when you get your visa and arrive here, you never know what will happen. You can lose, you can lose your, your sponsor or lose the one who should take care of you, or you can have some problem, economic pro economical problem in your country. Or when you, when you get here and you found or you have, to, have to face this kind of problem, what are you supposed to do? And then never forget the currency we use in our country is way different from the one they use here, like the dollars. So we need to consider everything about those things and come up with the solution to help the student who come here to study and to work sometime. It's not like they have to, but for people who want to work, they should help them to work. Awesome. 
For now, I will just stop here and let my friend have. It's not a lot more. You have to think about people who apply visa. Hello, friends. Myself, Ali. I would like to continue after my friend. Uh, there are certain points which these guys have raised. Yeah, it is must. Or uh, I can say that yes, uh, the students should be allowed to <coughs> work in US, especially F1 students, international students. Uh, why there are certain reasons behind that, that the, these days the basic necessities are very high and as he had compared, the currency rates are different from both the countries. So to survive here, you need to have an extra income whereby you can cover your tuition fees on time. Uh, that's why the government has come up with uh, different plans as uh, they say on-campus employment. And on-campus employment are uh, uh, are limited uh, like our, our school LIT cannot hire all the students and I haven't seen them hiring any student here so basically it doesn't make any sense so they want I expect the government should open their <coughs> windows and should welcome uh, the students to start working in different fields because uh, you can see that there are different places where the expertise are needed and they don't have enough mind to generate uh, good in, good enough of income, and uh, that's called off-campus employment. So the government are still working on it so that they can start, you know, building up, bringing up more uh, experienced people. Uh, example: somebody doing uh, working in an accounts, an accounts field, uh, has done his accountancy, and uh, his expertise, his excellence is in accounts. So his expertise will be needed in different sectors of the so in different sector of the of the company, and uh, that's called internship. So internship is not only in United States, but the internship is uh, in different countries too. When when a person uh, graduates or post graduates, uh, they <coughs> they are welcome to 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 learn to do practical work, and in that way they can uh, they can acquire more knowledge. For this. The government has come up with a loan facilities. In that way, the students can have the loan. They can get the loan from the banks and they can repay the loan back. And then how they are going to repay the loan. It's, so for that, uh, we, we people think that the government should allow them to, to work, to give them more hours, 20 hours are not uh, uh, enough. It will be beneficial, like it will benefit the society even. And then the last point I would like to add is the since we know that our government is hiring H1B1 visa uh, uh, candidates, so there it needs a lot of you know uh, investment to bring them in. It's better to 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 in, to increase F1 students more and allow them to work so that in higher when they go. When they when they acquire the graduation and their post graduation masters, mm. they can get into directly into the field. So the government doesn't need to get H one visas and uh, the skilled persons from the different country. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, yeah. Give me a hand. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What? I'll start the clock. First of all, I want to congratulate our contenders for trying to be advocates for a nonsense change to the law. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're not talking about dreams and hopes. We're trying, we're talking about facts. Mm. So imagine that you open your house to a guest, you agree that they're gonna stay for a certain amount of time, and then they decide that, you know what? From now on, you're not gonna eat more biryani. No more biryani for you because <laughs> meat is better, it's cheaper, <laughs> so now the rules have to change. You're not gonna keep watching, um, Shadow Khan movies. No, sir. We're gonna stop. We're gonna start watching another things so that they are gonna improve your knowledge. So you don't waste your time doing that. The, the rules have changed. No more cricket. You're not gonna be able to watch cricket. We're gonna watch other sports like football because that's where you are now. Would you like that? Well, that's exactly what you, they're trying to promote here. The fact is that the United States is an independent country and they have the right to make their own laws. We don't go to your country and say how you have to live your life and immigration law is part of it.
So they were talking about how they have to spend money on house, food, school, insurance. Well, let me remind you that before you came here, you proved that you had the means to support yourself yeah. while you were here. Yeah. Not only that, you agree to do what you're supposed to do on your during your stay in the United States. So if you decide to start working, you're breaking our loop, our laws. So what's the double standard? Would you like that if I go to your country and then start changing changing the, how you live your life just because you think that's fair? They say that they're. You can you can have different situations that makes you uh, have to work here. Well, if you don't have the means to work here, they make you sign a waiver for somebody to be responsible in case something like that happens. So we we have everything figure it out. You decide to work, you're breaking our laws. The purpose for F1 student is not to stay in the United States. It's to improve your knowledge, get prepared, and then go back to your country. If you want to come to the United States to stay, there are other ways to do it without breaking our laws. If, you, if you're having a bad situation in your country because you're being pursued, well, you can ask for an asylum, and then they can decide if you are really, really worth of being here or not. I think that the, the United States government is only responsible for their citizens. If you're not able to maintain yourself here, you're in the wrong place. That's it. Thank you very much. So you're going to come to three minutes? You're going to come three minutes? OK, let me continue from here. She said government is not responsible for F1 students, and she is right because government is only responsible responsible for their own people, like American citizens. If we came from different countries, from different religions, and from different culture, and we are here in the United States of America, we need to pay bills, of course. But government is not responsible for our bills. Before entering the United States of America, and before getting uh, admission in colleges, we showed them the bank statement. It means we have money in our country. If we showed our bank statement, and bank statement was strong. As I remember, my bank statement was strong. And I cannot apply for work here in the United States of America and tell them that I'm, I can't pay my bills. If I can't pay my bills, I'm not, I won't show my bank statement. So if I'm working here, it means I'm stealing a job from American. If I'm stealing a job from American, it means the economy of America is going down because they, they don't have jobs of their own people. So if we work here, and if we want to work here, we have to apply for some other visa instead of F1 visa. So right now, that's it. I'm going to continue. Later on. Later on. <laughs> <laughs> I also forgot to mention that they want to get loans. What happens if you leave the country? Who's going to pay those loans? Because you don't have ties to the United States. So the Americans are going to be the ones that end up paying your debt. Okay. That's it. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, all right. That's it. That's okay, now, no one can at this point, that's why. So now, at this point, point. <laughs> <laughs> so now, at this, point <laughs> the, this side has five minutes to provide a rebuttal uh, to address some of the, 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 the things that they said or bring additional points, what have you. Thank you, Sadia. Uh, five minutes to uh, respond, uh, whoever would like to come up. We'll conclude, Karega. Okay. <laughs> Thank you again, my people. I'm going, I will be just <clears throat> straight. When I just arrived in this country, I had people from my country who were with me at ICI. One stopped coming to school. They were calling his name every day, but he were not present. And then when I saw him, I asked him. He explained to me his uncle was his, his sponsor 
and his uncle died. And the guy didn't have any money to pay the school, so he has to solve the school, and he lost his study, everything. I feel sorry because I couldn't help him. And the second one is, is, is somebody from my country too, but the, the difference is his brother was his, a sponsor, but his brother was sick. And he said that almost all the money to, to, to take care of his brother, and he couldn't call them and ask about money because somebody was dying. And this one, he lost, he lost his study too. It's not, bad. it's not about they didn't have money when they were coming. When they were coming, they had a lot of money to show. And they were really ready to take care of those people. But something happened. And it can happen to anybody here. And let me go again to one point. In this country, they will never give you a loan if you don't have anything to show that you can pay off this loan. Never. They always take everything. And one more thing. Do you know the, NAF the NAFSA Association of Foreign Student Advisors? What did they say? They say for each seven F1 student who came in the United States, they create one job. And you know, for the two last uh, years, the F1 student contributed to two, to $24 billion in this country. And imagine if those people were working, how much money the United States will benefit from us. We are here to help the country, and the country needs to help us too. Thank you. Uh, my friend has covered most of the part. I, I would like to just uh, summarize on what he said is uh, the sponsors, as she mentioned that uh, if students, when they come in, they, 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 uh, they show their bank statement saying that they are well enough to pay their rents and everything. As he narrated, he narrated an antidote which says that there are many, nothing is certain. Anything can come abruptly. So the government knows about it, about it. So they, that's why they came up with uh, after one year that you can opt for an off-campus job, saying that you are not uh, financially fit to pay the bills. So instead of uh, the government should encourage them that do not worry, we are we are here to provide you loan, and banks are giving loan on uh, on certain grounds. They just cannot, anyone comes up in the bank and say like me, myself, I'm just doing an ESL class. I cannot go to the bank and ask for a loan. No way. Why? Because I'm not doing any, any, uh, any kind of uh, specialized, you know, uh, field. If I get into a specialized field like business analysis or some kind of, uh, of, uh, of, of, <clears throat> of a project which can, which can show that after doing that, after completing my graduation or post graduation, I will be contributing to the to the uh, to, uh, to the society in the form of tax, as well as I'll be hired by a big company. They see all the scenarios before they give the loan. The, then the the very first uh, uh, and one more thing I would like to say is H1B1 visa. As she said, that F1 students gets their. Uh, graduation they get their degree they go back to the country and help people help their country to grow that's good that's wonderful but still American this constitution is made up of by outsiders immigrants who came in and set up their uh, the beautiful country so this beautiful country runs on humans human brains welcoming humans trying people to 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 improve their lives so why to spend money to get these expertise from different countries when you have your own people here, the, the people, the F1 students who are, who are into universities doing great in their, in, their, in their subjects, in their field. So instead of getting those H1B1 visa guys, we can get these F1 students work for the, co for the, for the company. And uh, I think that will be enough from me. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna ask my friends to make up your mind. You can or you cannot pay your loans. Because you're saying that when you apply for a loan, you need to prove. But what happens with the situation that suddenly it can happen, that you say? While you're talking about your friend, that's a really personal situation. 1.2 million of international students come every day. Every year. Every year. So imagine 
that we have to deal with this amount of situations because you're not able to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do. The government is not being completely rigid. They're allowing you to work <laughs> if you qualify to do it. They have their own campus employment and they also have practical training. That means that they're giving you the opportunity to get prepared. You ask why, we, why the United States um, hires people from other countries to come and work here? Well, simply because they're prepared to do it and they, they have the knowledge to do it, but they don't come here breaking the law. They get, they get here with an appropriate visa where you are allowed to work. So yes, we're not being discriminating in any way. We welcome people who are prepared to contribute to our country. But that doesn't mean that that gives you the right to break our laws. Because then what's the purpose of having a law? Good morning, guys, and continue. Ms. Vanessa, the opposition party leader, Mr. Azuma Vita Go from Burkina Faso, mentioned that, <laughs> like, he, gi he gave some example of ICI. For two, three people, for two, three people, sponsor died, uncle died. He mentioned, like, his uncle died, I couldn't help. For two, out of 100 people, for the 10 people is not giving the uh, sponsor later or uh, they, uh, they couldn't uh, uh, sponsor their student. So for two, three students, we don't want to change our law. First of all, out of 100, only 10 people have same accident like they could, uh, the uncle died, the uh, sponsor lost. For the 10 people, we don't want to change the law. Second, there is a coin. Mr. Azuma, think about one side. But you have to think about the other side. Like if first sponsor is lost, so you have to find immediately, instantly second sponsor. This is your responsibility. That's it. So I'm uh, uh, the Mr. Alisa is continuing the another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Patel. No, yeah. He can beat you. <laughs> they can beat you for sure. Yeah. Okay, I got only two minutes left, and I think a couple of things left. I just want to ask one question. What if I come to your country and steal your job, and you don't have job, what are you going to do? If I come to your country as a student, because, because I didn't see no reaction on his face, but never mind. I will say, if I'm working in my country, and somebody come, like Gustavo, comes to Pakistan and work in my position and I don't have job, of course, I, I won't feel good, you know. So I, I'm going to feel embarrassment like somebody else coming to my country, working, making money and sending his money to his own country. What about my country's economy? If someone coming into my country, working, making money and sending the same money from my country to your country, I'm not doing nothing. I'm, my economy is going down. So the, the same thing with America, they don't like when we work as an F1 student. If you really want to work, and I understand there, is, there are some problems in everybody's life. If you cannot deal with F1 visa, don't take it, go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> go to H1 visa, there are millions of other ways to make, feed your families, to do whatever you want to do. But don't cheat with the government. If you are in F1 visa and you working illegally, they are paying you cash, right? And they are paying you cash. So it means yeah. what about the American money? You're not paying any taxes. Again, economy is going down. So my brother, please, if you want to work. Once finish the education, not we need more time. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so at this point, I want to make sure the camera's still going, okay? Um, 
And by the way, the, the video of this will be made available. I'll send you a link so you can download and watch it later on too. By the way, <laughs> so at this point, um, the, the this team here can uh, will have two more minutes to uh, have uh, to, uh, to, to wrap, wrap up, up their yeah. points. They can either summarize uh, the points they're making earlier or uh, answer any um, rebuttals uh, they're making earlier, and, and then they'll have two minutes for rebuttal. After which, of course, we'll get a chance to do a Q and A. Maybe you can think about questions you would ask these people. Okay. All right. There we go. Thank you, Gong. Thank you again, those people. Again? Again. <laughs> those people, they talk about it. Like, they're not professional. <laughs> in this country, <laughs> even, even, if you want, even if you want a small loan, you will see everywhere they say title loan. That, what does it mean? Something that belongs to you. Even your car, the title, you can go give it to them and take the money. In case you can respect that, they're going to maybe sell the car or keep the car. How can you go take money from somebody and doesn't show anybody? It's not your father or your uncle. It's not possible. They need to be serious. And then science showed that practice is the best way to learn and remember new things. All those people, the F1 there, like for example, those who, like you guys, who is doing right now ESL, English as a second language, can practice well if you can work. Since in this country is English, if you are able to work, that means you're gonna be speaking English outside. And I'm sure it's gonna help you little by little to improve your language. It would be better than be sitting at home and playing or just doing or speaking your own, your native language like you, you, you used to do. You just walk around to add, and one second please. My friend, he doesn't listen what I've been saying for seven or for two minutes. I just said that the NASA showed that for seven F1 students who come in this country, at least one job will be created for Americans. And they will, give, they will give them extra money, $24 billion for two years. Imagine if one or some of those people could work out the United States would benefit from them. We need to be serious. We, we, don't, we don't come here to ask for a food stamp or anything. We're gonna work and pay taxes. And this is what this country used to build everything you see about taxes and money. It's not to sit or just go work for free. When we work, the government gets something over there that you don't understand. Maybe that boy is still a student from your country. But when you work in this country, the government takes some stuff, a percentage, and this is what the government used to help the old people, people can work. Time's up. And it will always help everybody. There you go. Right. Okay, so F1 visas are not only for learn, learning English, it's for learning anything. So if you want to learn English, depends on you with who you want to develop relationship. Everybody here that wants to learn English should be talking in English, but they rather speak in their own language. So that's being ironic, coming from you. Yeah. Um, you don't have the right to work because you agree not to work before coming here. Yep. If you want to change the, the rules of the game, you can go elsewhere. F1 students are here for one purpose, and it's to develop their knowledge in whatever areas they want. Not to come here and improve, and, and work, and make money. What happens is that people come here, and because they don't have a permit to work, they lower their, 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 their wage. So they're taking jobs from people who are allowed to work. And that's, that messes up our economy. So yes, it's a problem. Having loans, they don't give it to anybody. And you know why? Because you don't, you don't only need to show that you have the means to pay them back. You also have to show that any situation won't mess that up. I hope that people can start respecting our laws because that's the same way that they want to be treated in your country. Yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. the only way that civilization can develop. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so 
Thank you. Well, first of all, I gotta say, well, both both teams were uh, were thoroughly prepared, and of course, you you're, you're initially noticing all the passion that's coming from both sides, etc. Yeah. The very yeah. uh, adversarial, yeah. confrontational. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, just on a matter of style, I liked how you were you all were including personal anecdotes that really tugs at people. That's very persuasive. Up here, Mr. Ali Shah, or and you were uh, you were engaging with the audience, uh, you know, uh, with uh, rhetorical questions. How would you feel? As I noticed, the folks over here did the same sort of thing. So as far as style is concerned, I, I noticed a lot of y'all were incorporating a lot of the. You know, the, the tactics that you may have noticed in the TED Talks this semester. So um, at this point, I'm going to open it up to uh, questions or, or, or comments, etc. If anybody want to do that? Uh, and, and if nobody out there is going to ask questions, maybe they can talk, argue with each other. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I agree with against you. Like, if you want to work on F1, you can go to another country. UK or Canada or somewhere else, they allow to work, but like USA, here they don't allow. So we need to stick Like, with sir, what happened? Okay. People are coming in master course, then they stop, then starting ESL. Mm. And they they already uh, got the social security number on their basis on a master, uh, uh, master course, and then they, they, they apply for all the credit cards from the bank, and uh, suddenly there are so many incidents they took the money from the credit card and they they go back to uh, their country so they, the the they are using miss yeah they are using very bad the uh, laws yeah. like if the f1 student allowed to work then they get the social security number and, and they apply for 10 to 12 banks mm -hmm. and they get the credit card mm -hmm. and yeah. then what happened the, all the they took money from the credit card uh. and they go back to their country who, who are responsible for that okay. that's why um. and Okay. I have so many examples. Let me let, this, let, let them respond to what Rena was saying with, regarding Canada, which which I didn't hear. That was the first time I heard about the option of Canada. Okay, but, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your question, ma'am. But the thing is, those people they don't come here to work. They just came first for just to study and go back. But for example, a situation can change the mind, and they have to work. You can tell them to go to Canada. When they were looking for a visa, if they wanted to go to Canada, they would just go because they show they have enough money to go wherever they want. If you're able to get the visa to come United, to United States, that means you were able to get any visa to go to Canada. But the thing is, they were coming here to just study, but something happened. They could not know that they will lose somebody, the one who, take it, who should be taking care of them. So how do you want them to do? They're not asking the government to help them. They're just asking to allow them to work and they will be paying taxes and it will help the country too. Mm. Both will be good. Even Canada, I would like to add over here, as she said, mm. in Canada, the, the students, international students, they go there, they get a internship. Mm. They earn while they work. So it's, it's the same thing. Mm. So that's what we are trying to say that in, since Canada is allowing, why not United States, such a big country? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. that's their own law. So they don't want to change it for nobody. Yeah. 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 Here also, they are allowing to work on master's degree. You can do an internship over here. Yeah. Yeah. Not even master's degree. So you, you, you can do an associate degree. Yeah. 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 Do so for that, work. So it's uh, your personal choice where you want to okay. go. Okay, so this is what I'm saying now. I've, I've come up to ESL. Yeah. I first tried in myself, I'm talking of St. Jack. St. Jess Central College. Mm. I was trying to get into business analysis mm. uh, field. Mm. When I went there to give my uh, interview and for my, what you call, the test, mm. English test, I failed in that. Mm. So they, they told me, first you have to know English very well. Mm. And they gave me F1 student, like they gave me to, to get into ESL class. I, I have come here to ESL class to do my TOEFL. In that way, from TOEFL, I can get uh, get into university and then I can acquire as masters in business and work. After getting MBA or masters, I can contribute mm -hmm. my knowledge, my everything to the United States of America. So they remain still. As President Donald Trump says, our country is a great country. It has to- Okay, but sorry for it. being mean. Sorry for being mean. They don't want people from different countries to come and serve. They have a lot of people here in their own country. Why they don't, why don't uh, they so give they, they, they are not eligible 
to cope up with the brain of the different countries. Because people so like us, want, we are coming at the best. <laughs> this country wants the best brain. Fair. This I'm country so fights for best, enough. not for average. Fair. I'm let Rohan weigh in here. Now. Yeah. What, you doing a weigh First in. thing, uh, nobody says this type of thing that we don't want any other country people come here and work because uh, <coughs> if you see any multinational company in the United States that most of the 40% people, they come from another country and working for them. And legally. Taking, legally. Yeah, yeah, legally. And second thing, uh, you people said, uh, uh, here, F1 students stealing the job. In this world, no one can steal anyone's job. If you have skills and if you have talent, you're just working for someone. Mm -hmm. You are not stealing anyone's job. If you're, if you're saying this type of word, that stealing job means you are... You are uh, influ influence the other people because uh, stealing job means you taking advantage of religious or community or any other type of context help like you tell the, your family member hey give me job and remove these people that's called stealing job and nobody do this and America is the country they only need hard-working people if you are not hard-working you don't get job here. You're, 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 you're skeptical of the position that, that it's stealing someone, that it's a yeah. binary thing, yeah. someone's being replaced and stuff. But did you want to weigh in on that? By lowering your rates, you're stealing people's jobs. But who? Let me, let me finish. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. Why? Because you, like, I'm not saying that your, the, the quality of your work is better than mine. It's just that you're lowering your grades. So, it's common sense, obviously. I'm, I, me as a paying person, I'm, I'm gonna rather, I rather pay you, who I don't have to pay security, uh, for, um, for social security. I don't have to pay for insurance. I have, you're asking for less money. I make you work more hours. Because under the table. It is okay for table, you, yeah. like for the people, for the person that doesn't have papers to work, they take it because they want to work, but it's not fair for the other people who don't need to lower themselves to that level just to get higher. You know, playing by the rules and having to go through regulations. I have a question. Okay, yeah. You can wait. I have a question yeah. for my friend Patel. <laughs> <laughs> How many credit cards do you have? Two. <laughs> How did you get Without, it? it's secure credit card. I'm not talking this about not the full credit, credit card. card. This is not credit card. I have yeah. four credit cards. Yeah. You can apply for a credit card without any history and the history comes from what you're doing. I you, let me finish, okay. please. You can never, you will never have, have a credit, get a credit card, a credit, get approved for a credit card in this country if you don't have a good history. They know everything about you before the call to give you the credit card. And the first one we're gonna start with $300. So when you really, when you go check about credit card with banks and know all those things, you're gonna come and talk about, us, about that to us. For now, so, you don't know anything about credit cards. No, so no. you can, you can, you okay. can say our friend, the F1 student, will come here, apply for credit card, take loans, and go back to the country. This is not true. I'm not talking about the loans. First of all, if I have social security number, mm -hmm. then I apply for the credit cards. Yeah. Listen to me. Same day, I get the credit cards of all company, and I used in a whole week, swapping everything, I took money. There is a limit. Mm -hmm. You take from the ATM, cash, cash. Not the, if, I, if you have $10,000 credit card, you take money, 1,000 or 2,000 liquid cash. Who gives that? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I give you <laughs> City <laughs> Bank. Yeah. City yeah. Bank, Wells Fargo Bank. There, I have all the proof. Yes. For Wells Fargo Bank and City Bank. Credit card, yeah, right? credit card. Not, not you debit. you you took money from you, you took money from, 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 from you took money from the ATM. Uh, if you have ten thousand uh, dollar ten thousand credit card, you take money thousand dollar right right away. I know I'm not. And second second week, if if I if I if I go to my country, who gonna responsible? Imaginary. Not what imaginary. It is gonna be a war. Trust me, you can be the way. Yes, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's not because you have no, no. social security. He teaches me you don't know about the credit card. That's way. You already made your point, brother. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
When I got my social security number, it was one year later, people were talking about credit card. Mm -hmm. I decided to apply for one and see. I applied, they denied. It's not because you get a social security number, you can have a loan. No, you need to create a credit history. They loan me $500 first. I finished paying, I take 1000 After I took 2000 and when I finished paying, now they, they allow me to get the credit card and it starts with only $300. Because if somebody will give his money, it's not like a secret credit card like you're using for people they don't trust. No, for me it's different. Mm -hmm. They give me money because they know that I will pay. And let me tell you, it's not because you got a credit card, you will apply first, they will give you $10,000. You will never see that in this country. Yeah. Never, no, no, ever. If your turnover is give me your social security number. Give me your social security number. I hear $10,000 credit card. Those people, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. No, no. He's challenging that that's not even possible. This is what I'm saying. What he says that they get all your documents as well as they ask for your three months pay stub. And then they generate, they calculate. There are analysis sitting in the bank. Gotcha. They cannot just uh, go away and hand over the credit card to anyone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, there's a thing before Trump and another thing after Trump. Right now, you don't, you don't get that. Second, there are different ways to get a credit card. <laughs> the one that you're talking about is the one when you start with your own money. You give yes. five hundred dollars, and they say yes, that's your credit card. But you're working with your own money, yes. and then when you show that you can work with your money, is when they increase, increase your your. Um, yeah, the credit. credit card. Call wait, your credit card. Let wait, no. one second. The other way that he's talking about is is this the scam that people do. They start working. They, they're F one students. Yeah. They get away. <laughs> <laughs> The group is divided. No, 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 it's never like that. We're too passionate. You are, you are F1 student. You get employed to work in Hanford. They take advantage of that employment, and with the social security, that is not the same one that the citizens get, but it works for working. They use it for other purposes. And they get loans, and that and everything happens. And then if they want to leave, yeah. or they're having a situation, as you mentioned before, they just leave. Excuse me, ma'am. I see again. You don't know what you're talking about. school right. to work outside you need to have a work optimization <laughs> show the one we're talking about uh, please it was a debate for f1 student man yeah not for credit card you guys Yeah, right. Oh man. 